you know, all the darkness takes up what it, the whole size of the trout and just doesn't look that big. There's a few trout now moving just up there. Let's see if we can get something. Or else it's, or else it's one of the mink. It's probably one of the mink. Yeah, it's a, it's a bloody mink, I'd say. Let's see now. There's one otter and it's about two mink on this river. Yeah. Ooh, that was a big trout. That was very close in. Trying to I thought I was going way under the trees. So I had to be careful. That was gone. With the bushes. The amazing thing about knife fishing is that it can be quiet for two or three hours. It can be mayhem for ten minutes and then quiet for another two or three hours. So that's sea trout fishing. And then, if you're real unlucky, it can be quiet for five hours. So it's just the way it is, you know. Bringing them for the shallows. I forgot the net, so we bring them right in here. He's not a big fish. Right. <clears throat> nice. Just over half a pound, a bit more, I suppose. There's obviously a lot of fresh fish in there. Not big fish, but a lot of fresh fish. So we'll send a few over. Oh, just keep it short. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And again, another fish about half to two quarters of a pound. Or a bit smaller, probably half a pound. Yep. Won't see them. See him? Again. They just moved in there now, he's fresh. He's, what he's doing is, he's turning his body to the side uh, to get rid of sea lice. Like salmon do the same thing, they get rid of sea lice. There's also another reason is that when they come in from salt water, their scales are, are like when they come into fresh water, they have to tighten up the scales. I see the odd flash. That's probably one or two of fresh fish coming in. I'll be honest, but when I started fishing first, which is a long, long time ago, um, I used my dad. It was like my first introduction to fishing was I think most people's was um, worm. It was worm fishing for sea trout, and I mean, I got a lot of sea trout on worm. But early in the morning, upstream worm spinning, uh, up, upstream worming, no lead, just a worm. Very light line and just flicking a worm upstream and work your way forward upstream. A lot of guys fish downstream, you don't really drive with a worm. You know? 
because if you think about it, the sea trout are actually in front of you all the time, so they can't really see you coming. Whereas if you're going downstream, they're looking at you. So you can sneak up on them a lot better with a worm, just walking up gently up the river. You can see them a lot faster as well. That was a very big trout. That was a very big trout. So he did a lot of jumping, so he upset it a small bit. But normally when they're as fresh as that, they don't seem to mind. Yeah. Small trout. As you can see how fresh they are, they're just jumping, jumping, jumping. These are small trout. But you can see how fresh they are when they're hit. They'll all line up together, unfortunately. We'll get them back there without any issues. Well, I told you this was the last. This was the one place where you could meet a lot of fresh fish. No. The only problem is, he sure as hell made a mess of my flies. But, luckily, I'm good at getting out tangles. And the amazing thing about it was the ones above were very happy taking the deeper fly, which is the point fly, and the ones here want the dropper and they wanted shallow. Now they're smaller trout, obviously, so they're out, they're actually hunting, but they prefer the smaller fly. Just double check, always double check everything, because the last thing you want is your best trout and breaking in them. Right. Thank you.